What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We have the iPad 8, which some considers to be the best value in the tech world. And I'm one of them. So iPad developer beta just got released. And I went ahead, downloaded it on my iPad 8. So if you guys are interested in knowing how's the performance of iPad OS 15 on iPad 8, please continue to watch this video. Hit the subscribe button and the like button for the almighty YouTube algo. Let's get right into it. Let's first talk about the performance. Right off the bat, I was expecting this OS to be a little bit buggy and laggy, which is definitely not the case with this iPad OS 15 on this iPad 8. Usually the first developer beta is always slow. However, this beta already feels faster than the previous iPad OS. The animations, gestures, the swipiness feels very smooth when you navigate through the whole UI. With iPad OS 15, now we have the better widgets that are not only stuck on the left side of the screen, they're free to move now. To add widgets, just tap and hold anywhere in the empty space on your home screen. Then you can just click on the plus sign on the top left. You can see lots of widgets have different options like sizes. For example, you could choose what kind of clock widget you want or what kind of size and style of battery widget you want. Just tap on the add widget at the bottom to put it on your home screen. If two widgets are compatible, you can even press and hold and drag them on top of each other to have stackable widgets. Then you can swipe to display different ones. Let's move on to the multitasking. There is a lot going on here. There's so many things to remember, but it is very fun. Multitasking on iPad 8 feels very smooth, just like on iPad Pros. What I'm gonna show you now works across the whole platform and all compatible apps. For example, in Safari, if you open different windows, you will see three dots on the top, which you can tap on to bring shelves. Alternatively, you can also open up the dock and tap on the app for shelves to show up. From here, you can tap on any windows. You can bring it to the side if you swipe from the top. You can minimize if you swipe from the bottom. These are two separate gestures now that do different things. There are some new ways to enter split screen mode. You can just swipe from the top to move the app to the side and then tap on another app. Now you have split screen mode. From the multitask window, Creating split view is even easier as now from the multitask window you can just drag one app and swipe it onto the other one. You can also bring one app to the slide over view and when you go to the multitasking window you can swipe all apps separately to close the apps. Multitasking on iPadOS 15 is hands down on another level. We also have lots of new feature in the notes app. Apple have introduced new features like mentions. With this you can link anyone and while you're gone you will see the changes made to your notes on the activity tab on the right side. Tags make sorting through your notes much easier. You can find your notes using tag browser at the bottom left in the notes app. Let's see if quick note feature is working without any bugs on iPad 8. Taking notes is very easy. All you do now is just take your Apple pencil and swipe from the bottom right to pull up the notes. When you're done, just swipe it away from the top. If you are browsing, the notes will now know which websites you are on and you can quickly add the link on your notes. After you're done, you can find all your notes in the notes in the quick notes section. The translation app works perfectly fine. I can tap on any word and see its meaning in all supported languages. Yes, sir. You can even take out text from the pictures and add it on notes. Please note that this is a new feature on iPhones as well and not exclusive to iPads. But it's definitely awesome to have it on iPads as well. There is a bug that I found in Safari. That if you close your browser and open again, then tap on the address bar to go to another website, it will crash. You'd have to just close the tab and then write down the web address again. So this beta is definitely not perfect, which is of course expected, but I'm still impressed with this beta. It almost works fine for the most part. Finally, I think iPadOS 15 does make the iPad more productive. For a regular person, just connect your mouse and a Bluetooth keyboard to the iPad and you can do a lot of things which you could do on a regular desktop. Heck, you can even build apps through Swift Playgrounds. 
Safari on the iPad now also supports web extensions like you did on the Mac OS. Once they're available, you can just download them through the App Store. So that's all in today's video guys. I know there were a lot of features that I did not cover here. So if you find anything I missed, please write it down in the comments below. Thank you for watching and if you like the content, please subscribe and hit the like button.